hello guys welcome back again i hope you're all doing well if today's your first time i say welcome i have some leftover butternut squash as you can see i've used part of it and it's been in the fridge for a while now and then the second ingredient is some yam it's also going bad so i, I don't want to throw it away so we're going to use it for porridge i have coconut milk right here one onion this is um chicken that i cut into pieces we grilled it halfway it's not fully cooked and then also see these peppers here yellow red orange they're also in the fridge um for a while now and um i'm not letting them go <laughs> so um, we'll see what we can do with them some spinach i also have some green peas here um, red lentils so this is the type of red lentils and green peas i'm using for this recipe it's just a personal preference um, you can use any type you want some palm oil so me and then some garlic and salt so we're just gonna um, use these ingredients to make some porridge. I will go ahead and wash the butternut squash and the yam, cut them up, and then we'll be right back. Now, as you can see, most of my yam had gotten bad, but um, I was able to get a few pieces. So I cut that and I added the butternut squash. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the fire and then let it boil and um, we'll continue as soon as it starts boiling okay friends as you can see it's about to boil so we're gonna go ahead and add the red lentils they're already washed green peas chicken garlic red onion we'll give it a quick stir I didn't add a lot of water because we're gonna be adding the coconut milk so we just want it to boil a little bit and then we'll add the coconut milk to it So we'll cover it up and let it boil as you can see it's boiling so we're gonna go ahead and add the coconut milk and then add a little bit of water some salt a little bit of black pepper and then we will stir and let it boil Alright friends, it's been boiling for the past 15 minutes and we're going to check, mm, it smells so good, let me check and see how soft, oh yeah, it's soft but we want it a little bit thicker than this so we will leave it to boil a little bit more maybe five more minutes and then we'll add the peppers all right friends we're gonna check up on our porridge it's looking so good it's smelling amazing at this point we're gonna add the peppers
you know what look in your freezer if you have ingredients in there put them together and make a dish out of it at this point I'm breaking some of the chunks of the um, butternut squash cover it up for like maybe two minutes add the spinach and the palm oil and then our food is ready I hope you will try this Whoa. you can smell the coconut it gives it a nice aroma now we're gonna throw a little bit of spinach in there Stir this up. Look at the colors. Like, seriously, look at the colors. Because we want the nutrients in the um, spinach to remain intact, we're not going to let it boil too much. I'm just going to go ahead and add azomi, the palm oil, to it. some crunchiness in here so I have some onions here that I'm gonna throw in there covering it up for just like two minutes just two minutes that's it all right friends our food is ready take a look at this take a look at this tell me you don't want to try this it looks so good healthy filled with all these vibrant colors it smells good <laughs> 